What's going on guys? It's Chu here bringing you another movie review and I gotta say Marvel has done it again. It has been a good little while since, well I'm not even saying a little while because we're still having what if as of right now. But Marvel, you guys are having it again. What a beautiful movie. I truly, truly enjoyed it. And I want to go ahead and get that out there. This movie is for everybody. It has a little bit of everything. And there will be mild spoilers in this review, so if you guys have not watched it yet, do yourself a favor, go watch it, and then do me a favor and watch this, as it would help out tremendously to the channel. But, I gotta say, let's get into it. So, we start off with, I guess you could say, some backstory, some typical backstory, where we have good old dictator man, the Mandarin, actually taking on governments and being known as this powerhouse and all he wanted was to have just more and more power that's all he wanted and he was doing this for thousands of years but then love changes you man it truly does he meets this woman who he wanted to originally go to her her i guess village to seek some power and instead of power he found love he thought things could change and I loved seeing this little scene when they were just both of them together and you know the way they were fighting the way it was choreographed the music the colors everything about this scene was very well done and I just enjoyed it and of course from then on out we see that that became Shang-Chi's mother you fast forward some years we see that this guy is uh, Bell Hopper he's a uh, along with Aquafina, who I gotta say was hilarious again in this movie. Just seeing Aquafina on screen is just great. Uh, and just the fact that she's in this movie just was making it a lot better. But we see that she actually is like the best friend to Sean, who he goes by this name. And he and her just are, they're adults. And they're not exactly the best examples of what an adult should be. I guess you could say man children or woman children. I don't know how would you say like big kids basically. They're not doing anything really productive with their lives until of course one day it changes when someone is on the bus with them wanting their pendant, uh, which was given to them given to Sean by his mother, who was the last thing he ever got from her. And we see that this is serious business. He ends up Saving everyone on that bus, thankfully, uh, but he ends up telling Katie, who was Aquafina, that th they are being chased. Uh, he is actually being hunted down by his father. There's something going on. He tells him, tells her that she, he is not who he th who he, who he's portrayed. Basically, he tries to find his sister, telling her that she's in danger. He she ends up being basically this badass boss at her own fighting empire where we see Wong and Ab Abomination. Very strange to see these two here partaking in it. Uh, Wong does play a part later in this movie, which is very, very cool to see Wong getting involved. Or I guess you could say getting Wong to be kind of like the messenger here, if that makes more sense for those that watched it. But we see that Father ends up finding them. Uh, we do see that they have no other choice but to go back to the house, or I guess you could say their home. And the reason why these pendants were taken was because he feels as though they can be used to be, I guess, bring back their mother who has been speaking to him and just kind of like, if you guys ever read the, it's kind of a sidetrack here. If you guys ever read the comics for the Star Wars series, uh, the Vader comics, uh, he basically spoils here. He actually tried to do this with Padme. He tried to bring her back and, um, well, for those that know that you guys know. If you know, you know, basically. Uh, but uh, this is just kind of one of those situations where a man bent on love, who basically will do anything, tries to bring back someone that is no longer there. Uh, she is in fact dead. Uh, we see that thankfully though, uh, Shang and Katie are able to, along with sister, of course, can't forget sister. Sister actually tags along, even though at first she was very hesitant about being around her brother because she waited for him to return and never did because uh, he just couldn't go through with things and so he ran away and so but we see that here they're all close to each other they all want the same thing they are able to actually get to the home village of their mother who they are greeted by the aunt uh, 
who takes care of them. Unfortunately, father does arrive uh, because he wanted to basically get to the mom who was supposedly calling to him. But really, it was a trap set by demons, basically. Uh, but these guys at the, in the village, they were the protectors. Unfortunately, father releases it and they have no other choice but to fight it. And so we see how Shang actually is able to control the rings, the rings that were basically what gave his father the power that he had and made it his own. And in the end, we see that they are able to take down this demon. And it was really cool, really cool scene. So I suggest you guys watch it. The, there are two post credit scenes that I thought were really badass. Uh, well, the first one was where Wong, we actually introduces Captain Marvel along with Hulk to Shang and how things are going to change. And then the last one, how we see Sister creating this empire. But truly, badass everything. Love this movie. But let me know what you guys think. I'd love to know what your thoughts are. As always, stay safe, and I'll catch you later.